Hey, Loopline here, and I want to go over a couple of new things in the Automator plugin. So if we launch the Automator, we can see that the Custom Harvester has been added to it. So assuming you're familiar with Custom Harvester in Scrapebox, you go to Settings, and you can uh, choose to use Custom Harvester or not, and then Custom Harvester Settings, where you see this screen, you can add engines, that sort of thing. I have another video on that, so I won't go over it here. But in the Automator, we can use the Custom Harvester. So if we look at regu regular harvesting URLs, this is what we see where we select the engines up here. Everything else is more or less the same thing. But if we do URLs from Custom Harvester, we see up here we get the option to set up the engines and proxy settings. So you can do the same thing as you can in a normal scrape box where you can set up your proxy choices, harvester connections, um, retrying it adding new proxies on the fly, and then choosing from one, any one of the multiple engines as well as any engine that you might have added. And so once you have that set up, then everything else is pretty much set up here the same as it is in the regular harvest URLs. So the great thing there, though, is that you can use all those engines now inside the automator. Another thing that is not yet coming as of, or is coming but not yet active as of dot .69 is under settings here, you get to adjust the multi-threaded harvester proxy retries. So that's just when you're using regular um, regular harvester, which is one of the engines here, either in the automator or uh, in Scrapebox. And the harvester proxy retries means if you have a keyword like, say, car, and you have, you're using public proxies or any proxies, and you toss them in there and um, it goes to try to harvest the word car and that proxy fails, it'll retry up to three times, so a three attempts to try three different proxies before it skips that keyword and moves on. Now you can run this all the way up, um, but right now it's hard coded at three retries for the custom harvester, but coming in the next version of Scrapebox, uh, they are adding the option to change your proxy harvester retries for the custom harvester as well. And most likely you'll just set them up in Scrapebox itself and anything that's any settings that are set in here also apply to whenever the automator is running since it's just automating the same normal scrape boxes um, you're using if you're doing it manually. And so that is a couple of new features regarding the uh, custom harvester in the automator. <laughs>